Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see lesson 5 sending pipeline data as output. So, when you provide information about your network infrastructure, it is often a requirement that you provide the information in a specific format. So, in this lesson, we will learn how to send the pipeline data to files and in various output format. So, in this lesson, we will see the following topics. Uh, so, uh, first one, how to write the pipeline data to a file and then how to convert pipeline data to the comma separated value, which is CSV format. And then how to convert the pipeline data to the XML format. And then how to convert the pipeline data to the JavaScript object notation, which is JSON format and then how to convert the pipeline data to the HTML format and then we'll see how to export the data and then finally we'll explain how to send pipeline data to other locations. So first one writing output to a file. So we will be using the out dash file command to write whatever in the pipeline output to a text file. So uh, Windows PowerShell provides several ways to write output to a file. So we will be using out dash command and uh, it will accept uh, input from the pipeline and uh, write that data to the file. So um, whatever uh, the output will come in the uh, pipeline. So using the out dash file, we can, you know, uh, save that data to the uh, the text file or any other external uh, storage. So whatever we pipe into out dash file is the same as it would appear on the screen. And uh, PowerShell also support the text redirection operator greater than and uh, two consecutive greater than sign that we can also use in the command.exe. So these operators act as an alias for out dash file command. So the greater than sign at the end of the pipeline direct output to a file. And uh, when we use, use this command, it will override the content. So for example, if uh, there is any data in that, when we use that uh, greater than sign, then it will be uh, override the content, whatever already exists in that file. However, using two consecutive greater than sign, direct output to a file will append the output to the text file already in the file. So the out dash file command does not produce any output of its own. So after we run this command, we can expect to see no output on the screen because the output will be redirect to the file that we mentioned. As we begin to write more complex commands in uh, Windows PowerShell, uh, we need to become accustomed to keep track of the pipeline content because each command in the pipeline runs, the command might produce output in a different uh, from the what input we received. So therefore, uh, uh, let us see an example how it work. Get dash service and will be sort using the property status and name and from this pipeline I'll be selecting only the display name and status property and I'll be redirect this output to a file name called And I'll mention the file path. So 
service list dot csv okay so when we have a complex uh, multiple command pipeline like this one so we might have to debug it if it does not run correctly the first time so the best way to debug is to start with just one command and see what it produces. So for example, first we can just start with one command and let's see what it produces. So get dash service uh, provide this output and then we can use the another command. So from here we will sort the object. using the property status name and then from this we can select the property display name and status so this output will differ from the previous output because from the previous output we have sorted using the status name but in the select filter we'll be using display name and status okay so this output is different from the previous but the output finally uh, will what we get is the last command that we have entered so um, only this output will be redirect to the service.csv file So next we will see converting output to CSV format. So here a uh, Windows PowerShell includes the ability to convert pipeline object to other forms of data representation. For example, we can convert a collection of object to the CSV format and converting to csv format is useful for viewing and manipulating large amount of data because uh, we can easily open that uh, file in the microsoft excel program so uh, windows powershell uses two distinct verb for conversion which is convert to and export command so using a command convert to which is convert to dash csv command which accept object as the input from the pipeline and that would produce the converted data as an output to the pipeline. So we can pipe that data to another command that writes that data into a file or it can manipulate it another way as well so uh, let us see an example for that get dash service and i'm going to convert this pipeline output to CSV format so I can just uh, hit enter to get the output in the pipeline here itself and I can also uh, redirect this output to a file using the out dash file command and I'll be redirect to services.csv file so if I go into that services.file c drive uses administrator.editum services.csv
okay so the output will be same as the output what we got in the console so next we will use the export command so the export dash csv command perform two operations so basically it convert the data and then write that data to the external storage such as a file on the disk so let us see this example get dash service and export csv services dot csv okay so the export command using uh, export dash csv basically combine the functionality of convert to and out dash file so export command do not usually put any output in the pipeline so for example if i run just uh, export dash csv so it will not produce any output on the pipeline so we have seen uh, the convert to command that has produced the output in the pipeline but uh, using export we cannot get that so we have to redirect that output to the you know uh, any file on the disk and powershell also support importing the format via import dash csv command so using the import dash csv we can uh, import any csv file so that create object that have the property matching column in that csv file so next converting output to xml format windows powershell also support writing output in xml format so the data then becomes highly portable and uh, it can be consumed by other process and application as well so here uh, the windows powershell uh, use uh, the following command which is convert to dash cli xml and uh, export dash cli xml so using this command we can convert the pipeline output to the xml format So next we'll see converting output to JSON format. Another lightweight and increasingly popular data format is the JSON format. And uh, JSON is very popular in web application development because of its compact size and the flexibility. So in Windows PowerShell, we can create the JSON formatted data by using the convert to dash json command so uh, json does not have a export command like we had in the previous uh, format therefore uh, we have to use the out dash file or one of the text redirection operator to send the json data to a file Also, the JSON format represent data in the name dash value pair that look like and work like a hash table. Okay, next we'll see the uh, converting output to JSON format. Sometimes uh, you need to display your partial output in a web browser or send it to the process like a send dash mail message command that accept the HTML input. So uh, using the convert to dash HTML command, we can convert the pipeline output to the HTML format. So as with the other convert to command, no output file will be created so we have to use the out dash file or one of its alias which is a single greater than or two consecutive greater than sign 
so using that uh, we can you know uh, redirect the output to the html format So convert to dash HTML so that create a simple list or table which is contained in a HTML format and uh, we can control that HTML format in a limited fashion through a variety of parameter which includes head, title, free content, post content. So here the head specifies the content of HTML head section. And the title that set the value of the HTML title tag and uh, dash pre content so that define any content that should appear before the table or list output and the post content so that defines any content that should appear after the table or list output. So next we will see the additional output options. Here Windows PowerShell provides a variety of other options for controlling the output. For example, you might not want to scroll through a long list of data written by the command such as get dash ad user. So in this case, we can use the out dash post command. So that would force the Windows PowerShell to pass during each page of data it returns and uh, if you want to print the output we can use the out dash printer command so that send the uh, pipeline data to your default printer and if you wanted to get the output in the grid view we can use the out dash grid view command Okay, so that's it in this uh, video uh, and we have covered all the topics in this lesson. We will see the uh, demonstration, the lab section in a separate video. Thank you.